Those involved in the potential in the potential transaction, listen to this, guys, are just starting now to solidify a deal. That means there's a deal, guys. He is telling you right there. There is a deal. What is going on, everybody? This is Dr. Chris Featherstone here for yet another episode of the Wrestling Outlaws. Ladies and gentlemen, I got two outlaws on the screen, and they are mean and they are lean. I got someone by the name of Ethan Carter III, EC3, former TNA World Heavyweight Champion, brother. I have someone on the screen. He is a former WCW World Heavyweight Champion. His name is Vince Russo. And I have someone on the screen who is the sheriff in town, your host, Dr. Yep. Chris Featherstone. You Can step you up, you get stepped down. Let's go. How are y'all today? How did people feel about our conversation last week that got kind of intellectual? Like, what, What's the feedback on that? Uh, I don't think it's been released yet. Oh. Yeah, I don't think. You'll love it, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think uh, people will love it. They love it. They love it. They love it. They love it so much. Absolutely. I want to point out at the top of the show, Chris. Yes, indeed. I think uh, EC3's shirt is inside out. It is. For the record. For the record. I just want to throw that out. For the record, ladies and gentlemen. Just, just in case. Case. Big star. Big star. I, shirt not I reprimanded by my surrogate father. <laughs> <laughs> for a shirt that was uh, slightly inappropriate. But available, yeah. available at freeec3.com. It says uh, yeah. F around and find out. Yeah. Uh, listen, Chris. Vince, I'm I'm the elder here. Just you just are. in just in years, not experience, and not like that. Just in years, that gives me the right to hijack the show. Right off the bat, yeah. Yeah, right I am going to explain to people why you watch Sports Kita. You go to the Facebook. You go to the YouTube. Where else is Sports Kita? Chris? IG, IG. Okay, and I'm going to tell you why and you Twitch. Come. Twitch, I'm going to tell you why you come here, bro, because I can't believe this. Because outside of Sports Kita, these dirt sheet sites and these dirt sheet writers are ignoramus. They're I've, imbeciles. They're I've idiots. I've been saying it yeah. for a year. Nothing has made me grow to distrust the entire systems that we live under from yeah. government to bureaucracies to food to water. That, mm. uh, to uh, absolutely corporate media or media in general then when I got into wrestling I found my way into wrestling and I would literally see things reported about me that are not even close to true and incorrect and there's there's no accountability for saying oh sorry we're wrong or that's we just made that up that's a good yeah. point it's, and like if that happens on this low level this dumb stupid idiotic pro wrestling level imagine what's happening in real life Imagine. Vince does not lie to you. Everything he well, says is the truth. Okay, he I, might. Chris? Never. Never. Here, he, this is this is, this is is what my issue with them is. You can go to these sites, and uh, wh wh what are we talking about, Chris? We're talking about, oh, what's, what's, what's been announced for SmackDown on Friday? Yep. Bro, we're going to talk about uh, Nick Khan. I, I can't believe how people have just glossed right, like – glossed right over this and i'm like are you people like brain dead chris listen ec3 mm -hmm. listen closely to what nick khan said in an interview a couple of days ago you ready this yeah. is what he said mm -hmm. uh so what will the process of selling wwe look like khan revealed that those involved in the potential in the potential transaction, listen to this, guys, are just starting now to solidify a deal. That means there's a deal, guys. He is telling <laughs> you right there. There is a deal that is being solidified. And then, Chris, you know what he says after that? It should not be a lengthy process. 
Mm. And, and no, but no, but there is a sale in place right now. You know what this is like, Chris? You and I know free agents in sports. Oh yeah. You make a deal, and then you got to take the physical. Yep. That's that's what solidifying the deal means. It means there is a deal in place. We are dotting the i's and we are crossing the t's, and it should not take long. Yeah. Not one freaking person is pulling that out of this interview. They're, they're more concerned with what, what what's on SmackDown Friday. <laughs> oh, I really? Like, really? Okay. These, these high-level journalists, these super brains, the elite writing class of the realm of professional wrestling, those who control the narrative, dare I say, those who dictate the terms, can't do basic, simple journalism and go, I don't know, sense. because they don't know anything else they don't know sport they don't know life they don't know art they don't know entertainment all they know is the internet they grew up on and the propaganda they've been put on by dirt sheet writers from the past like they have no semblance of reality skills anything they're not writers they don't go to school you don't go to school to write for the dirt sheet <laughs> well, like and and Chris, when 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 you, when you when you connect the dots, okay, when you connect the dots, see, I, I can't like, bro, they're they're missing it. Just yesterday, bro, uh, th there was a new filing with uh, the 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 WWE and the SEC, mm -hmm. where Vince, you know, basically said the 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 vote of the shareholders counts no more. And bro, if you mm -hmm. connect the dots, reason being. There is a deal in place, and he don't want anybody to F it up. Mm. He don't want shareholders to vote it. He, when you put the pieces, bro, the company has been sold. Mm. Now they're going over the details, and especially when Khan says it should not be a lengthy process. Chris, if, if the company wasn't sold, how would Khan know whether it's three months or six months or a year? Yeah. But, but yet... You don't read about this anywhere, bro. Yeah, what, what, when I hear that, I'm hearing it should be a formal statement coming out. So, I mean, like that's that's what I, as a PR uh, undergrad, I have a my undergrad is a PR a minor in communications. How many educations yeah, I, I he He's got a lot. He's got a lot. <laughs> yeah, I have a oh. my 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 undergrads in PR with the minor in communications. I have a master's degree in. Theological studies. I have a master's degree in psychology. I have a master's degree in criminal justice with a behavioral sciences uh, um, uh, specialization, and I have a PhD in forensic psychology. No world championships, though, huh, Vince? <laughs> <laughs> I'll sacrifice all of those degrees for a world championship. I, will, and I would gladly <laughs> trade you my two-day championship for all those titles, Chris. <laughs> gladly. No, thank you. I, I make a lot of money without taking a bunch of bumps and get up for a world championship that someone tells me that I'm going to get. So uh, I, I will choose the former any any day of the week, that's for sure. Uh, so, yeah, I think that you made a good point as far as Nick Khan is concerned saying that stuff. I mean, like I did um, when I when I would write and I, I would look for those types of uh, quotes because I saw everything that happened on the sheets and like the sheets. Uh, look, I was one of those writers that would be told things. Sportskita didn't do this. Sportskita has been treating me very well over the past oh, several yeah. years.